What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back at it with another Destiny 2 news video and today I want to go over what's said in the latest Bungie weekly update. Now the past week has been a shambles on their behalf. Initially things were looking up after last week's major uh, weekly update which spoke of great changes coming but this past week with faction rallies it all kind of fell into a giant mess again faction rallies being a joke and a few other things today within this update they speak on what's happened what's happening and again the future so let's read through it this week at bungie the factions have returned there has been a lot of feedback on some of the changes made to faction rallies in season two I'd like to take a moment to list some of the larger topics. There is an ongoing process at Bungie to assess how we want to change Destiny 2 in the weeks to come and your voice is a crucial part of it. There was an issue in the previous faction rallies where players were earning hundreds of faction tokens per hour without firing a single shot. In the recent December 12th update, faction token rewards were added to an existing system that was locking players out from lost set to rewards. We have heard player feedback that this solution was too disruptive. We're looking at a change that won't make players feel forced to run to and from a single chest for hours while also not placing a hard stop on enjoying lost sectors. We want to ensure that every time you open a chest there is a loot inside. We'll share more details on this before the next faction rallies. The other question that players immediately asked when decrypting their faction engrams was, where are the new season 2 weapons? It was not made clear beforehand that the new season 2 weapons would be added throughout the events of the season rather than all at once in the beginning. This was on us, no excuses. You can read the full details on how the weapons will be rolled out here. I actually covered that in a video yesterday which I'll link in the video description if you do want to check that out. We will be remedying this lapse in communication next week with details on what you should expect when the next Iron Banner rolls out in Season 2. Faction Rally closes out next week, whichever faction you deem most worthy will be selling their weapon in the tower as the first offering of Season 2. They go on to talk about evolving. A lot of the feedback we have been receiving is centered on weapons and abilities, the feel of Destiny 2 and what makes a Guardian a Guardian. We're taking the feedback to heart and Sandbox design lead Josh Hamrick has some thoughts of what the Sandbox team has planned. We just wanted to drop in for a moment to verify that we're already hard at work making progress on various improvements Christopher Barrett outlined last week. Additionally, I wanted to give you all better insight as to how the next several months are shaping up. As with any plans, the first items on the list are the clearest and well defined. For most of these we are already hard at work making good progress on them. The exotic pass is moving forward nicely with John Hawawawa, I can't pronounce that, at the helm. The team has also been talking about things we want to see in the next balance pass coming to you in season 3 for the last several weeks. Also Grant McKay has put together a rather exciting plan for mods 2.0 that will open their requirements up significantly allowing them to be more potent in ways that you'll end up feeling directly in your ability uptime and therefore total power output. The rest of the crew you ask? Or they're just hard at work on super exciting new content to put smiles on all your faces before the year is out and that's just the beginning. Items further down the list need more planning or more time to actually implement. Most need both. On top of that, some need groundwork that we will be laying with earlier changes. In all of these cases, though, the team is already discussing and planning for them in one way or another. As usual, we are excited to work on building something that you will love and that feels great to play because the sandboxer loves you. 2018 is shaping up to be a huge year for all of us and there is plenty of sandbox improvements and changes coming your way. As we move closer to realising all of the new efforts being made, we'll continue to show up here to share many of the details about how it's shaping up and how it will all work. We expect you to keep showing up and sharing your feedback and passion for the game. Talk to you again soon, Hamrick. And that is basically the update people. And what I'm seeing here is just things to come, plans for the future, we are listening. I'm just basically seeing more excuses than promises and dates. And this in my opinion just isn't good enough. I mean, I understand they make mistakes. I understand that there are people running this show and mistakes can be made. But what's happening with Destiny 2 since release and its ongoing issues since the game's been out with the lack of communication, the false promises and just the, the way the game is. 
I honestly feel something bigger is happening inside of Bungie. I honestly wish the team the best as I want the best for this game and us, but things just seem to be getting worse and worse. It's becoming a joke, it really is. I mean, I'm actually fed up and making videos talking about the bad things at Bungie and the bad things they're doing with the game. It's, it's making it out that I hate the game and I hate Bungie, which is definitely not the case. I mean, I just, as you guys know, will speak the truth and if things need to be said, I will say them. I won't suck up. I won't kiss ass. It doesn't mean I like it. It doesn't mean I enjoy saying these things. It's just the truth. And it's a shame it really is. Now, moving on, and in other news, Activision CEO Eric Hirschberg leaves the company after eight years, according to Game Informer. This is what they say. Eric Hirschberg is leaving Activision after eight years as CEO of Activision Publishing, a division of Activision Blizzard. Hirschberg arrived to the company as an outsider from the game industry, bringing his advertiser mentality to how games were marketed. Under Hirschberg, Activision saw massive successes like Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy, Skylanders, Destiny, Call of Duty, Black Ops, among other hugely profitable titles. He's staying until March as the search for a new CEO of Activision Publishing commences. Hirschberg is leaving the company on a high note with Call of Duty World War II's debut smashing records. So yes, um, Activision CEO has also left the scene or leaving the scene which will be in March. And like it says here, he was the bridge between Activision and Destiny. We saw him at the Destiny 2 premiere event as well, if you remember that. So yep, it is a shame, I suppose, but I'm guessing he has a better opportunity in front of him, which to be honest, wouldn't be hard at this point, would it? But yes, guys, that is it for the video. Let me know your thoughts on the state of Destiny and what you think of the update. Uh, but yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.